Hi, this is Raymond. And Ryan here. And, and welcome, welcome to Bricks Laboratory. We are here to make a reaction video for Lego Ninjago Season 12, Episode 13. And it's called Ninjago Confidential. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. In 3, Three two, 2, 1, and go. go. Ninjago Confidential Ninjago City My City I know I like the insides of my own circuits Which is why I know It has a dark side My best friends are trapped inside an immersive video game called Prime Empire Yeah, you heard that right They're being held there by a villain named Unagami but Unagami isn't his real name. It's as fake as a used car salesman's smile. His true identity is Milton Dyer, the computer programmer who designed Prime Empire. The only hope for getting them out of the digital world rests on finding Dyer in the real world. My world. I was fishing for leads, but for now I find myself adrift on a sea of dead ends. Then, she walked in. There you are, Zane. She said, shining the only ray of light into my dreary world. Who are you talking to? And why are you dressed like that? Since we are engaged in detective work tracking down a missing person, I have downloaded thousands of detective books and movies as research. And that has to do with hats? Now, according to my analysis, 100% of successful detectives wear trench coats and hats while narrating their thoughts. Thus, I have adopted the same methodology. It seems improbable that hat choice and overly descriptive monologues are significant factors in an investigative outcome. I've tried everything else to no success. This method has to work. Well, okay, I guess. I do have a new possible avenue of inquiry. A lead? What? Detectives call it a lead. Okay, I have a lead. A source willing to share information. So a canary wants to sing. Who is it? Remember this photo from Dyer's childhood home? I was able to track his friend to Laffy's Karaoke Club. Perhaps he knows Dyer's whereabouts. So, the rumble on the street gave us a hot tip about a goon we needed to shake down. It was time for these two gumshoes to beat feet. I'd been here before. It was a low-class joint that served cheap boba tea. As soon as we walked in, every palooka in the place pointed their ugly mugs at us. Hey, is he talking to us? Or about us? Yeah, I don't like it either way. Perhaps that is enough detective narration for now. She said nervously, because from the looks of these rowdy no good nicks, it was clear we were in for trouble. Zane, Pixel! Wow, so good to see you guys! <laughs> what brings you to my karaoke club? Oh, Dareth, hello. My memory now accesses the fact that you own this establishment. <laughs> Don't tell me, I know. You need the brown ninja's help on a mission. Brown ninja? Let me guess. The other ninja are lost in some crazy realm somewhere, and you need to find something to bring him back? Your guess is surprisingly accurate. Yeah, it happens a lot to those guys. Gotta love them. Hold on. I'll get my stuff. Hey, you twos. I got a bone to pick with you ninja guys. You locked my brother up in Cryptarium prison. That is quite possible. Who is your brother? Fugidog. Uh, who? Fugidog. <laughs> you know, his cry fills the night. That name is unfamiliar to me. The lung was as big as an ox and smelled like one, too. Oh, what did you just say? He wasn't the sharpest crayon in the box, hey. but if it was a fight he wanted, 
I was happy to give it to him. Oh, yeah? Let's see about that. Get him, boys! Yeah! <laughs> The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's why I decided to throw an uppercut to his glass jaw. Uppercut, huh? Uh, the old suit must have shrunk in the dryer, because it's a little tight around the... Uh... Wait, you started without me? Well, don't worry, guys. I got your... His power to predict my every move was unnerving. But I figured a sharp right cross would stitch him up. Right cross? Blocked! Now you're my ninja guy. Huh? And the good news was, she had saved my nindroid bacon. The bad news was, whoever we were looking for was probably long gone. Who were you looking for? A childhood friend of Milton Dyer's. Dyer, huh? Yeah, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Jackpot. You were Dyer's friend? Yeah, that's right. When we were kids. Name's Tony. We would appreciate anything you might know about Milton Dyer's current location. Yeah, you're not the first to ask about him over the years. Reporters come by every so often, but... I never told them anything because old Milty deserves his privacy. But you're ready to speak now. Uh, yeah, with this Prime Empire stuff happening... Those kids missing? I guess it's time to talk. Spell it. Where's Dyer? I don't know exactly, but I know this. You should check out Buddy's Pizza. Why? It's where Milton played his first video game. That's where he found his life's calling as a game programmer. He called it Video Game City. Always went back there as an adult for inspiration. Buddy's Pizza was no different than any other hole-in-the-wall pizza joint. Except it had the best games in town. It had been shut down by the fuzz due to the disappearances. Someone's coming! Let's go! Ah, we almost hit a high score! Kids have been sneaking into the place to get their fill due to the city's video game prohibition. You are beginning to get on my nerve circuits. Are you going to talk in that voice the whole time? Her eyes showed annoyance, but her heart revealed that she respected my unorthodox techniques. My heart did not reveal that. Every part of me is annoyed. I had my work cut out for me. I had to prove I knew what I was doing. Hit the dirt! I got wind of you sniffing around Dyer's old haunts. It was only a matter of time before you two buttons showed up here. Is the mechanic doing your detective thing too? This is just weird. Let's pace these palookas. Nagami will be pleased as punch. Zane? Zane? I was desperate and willing to try anything, even Zane's detective theory. So I put the hat on and went for broke. There had to be a clue somewhere in this run-down, crazy world. I might have lost my partner, but not my resolve. The answer had to be somewhere here in this place Dyer called Video Game City. Voice activation password. Video Game City accepted. I was as surprised as anyone to discover. Zane was right. Talking aloud in a funny voice seemed to help. I decided to stick with it. Milton Dyer, I presume. 
I knew it was only a matter of time before someone found me. I assume this isn't a social visit? No, Mr. Dyer. Or should I call you Unagami? I'm not Unagami. Unagami was what we called the game. It was our working title. Before we called it Prime Empire, it was Unfinished Adventure Game 1. But the artificial intelligence that ran the game was so dangerous, even I realized I should never complete it. Then who did? No one. We locked that program under so much security, it won't ever see the light of day. The only way the program could have been finished would be if... If Unagami completed programming itself. Oh, no. Milton Dyer is not Unagami. It's not him. Unagami is an artificial intelligence to finish the game by itself. It, I'm okay. I didn't know. Okay. I agree. I've never seen a game officially unfinished before. Unagami means unfinished adventure game one. Okay. So would you like the episode? It, I think okay. There's never I've never seen the green screen before in many episodes. Mm -hmm. So I'm you? So yes. The uh, Lloyd's um I mean Zane's voice is funny but I think it's effective. But we don't know what happened to Zane. I think you know it. You just know what to spoil. I don't I don't want okay, I haven't watched episode 14 because I'm... Ah, okay. That's it. Let's go to the next episode. And I hope you enjoy watching. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next videos. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, Bye for now. now.